This painting is called Who is Zooming Who? And uh, it's a painting that, that started, like most of my paintings do, um, with me just playing with color and, and painting because it felt good to paint, and a story kind of slowly emerging as I went. Um, interestingly, I began this painting by using some of my mom's paints. Um, my mom passed away a few years ago and uh, I inherited a lot of paints that she had. My mom used to paint like little Christmas figurines and uh, little ornamental figurines. And my mom had tons of the little tubes of acrylic paint. And so for most of my paintings I've done since 2016, I put a lot of my mom's, I put a little bit of my mom's paint on every canvas to kind of like, uh, in a way like bless it. I don't know, it's like a superstitious. It just feels good to use my mom's paint. And uh, I hadn't been doing it for a while. I, I kind of fallen out of the practice of that. And I decided that I wanted to get back to it. So I took out a whole bunch of my mom's old paints. And after four years, they're starting to get dry. And they're starting to um, go bad. And I was like, oh no, I better use these quick. And so uh, I worked out quite a few of my mom's paintings. And since my mom did winter scenes, sometimes there was a glitter paint. Um, and what happened was I was throwing the paint on the canvas and some glitter paint got on there. And there's glitter paint throughout this whole painting because it's my mom's paint. And it was mixed in and uh, I really played with it. And I decided that I, I really liked the way the light hit it and I really wanted to feature that. Um, so I brought in some uh, high gloss enamel to really keep with that idea of brightness. And as I was painting, um, I came to this part of the canvas and I had done all of this here over here to the right and this over here wasn't done yet and I started cutting in uh, this guy and when I did the guy I saw the dog and when I saw the guy and the dog and I saw the trees um, I started thinking about the day my mom died and um, I was using her paint, so she was on my mind. And uh, the day my mom died, we knew that we were gonna um, take her off the machines at like three o'clock that afternoon. That really impossible decision had been made the night before. And, um, you know, so like a lot of people, it, it happens, right? You like, you know what time your mom's gonna die. And so I woke up that morning at like nine in the morning and I was like, okay, well, six hours till my mom dies. And it was a really weird feeling. I didn't know what to do. So I just grabbed the dog, went out of the house. I was like, I can't sit here in the house. I'm gonna go crazy. Uh, I took the dog down to the Metro Parks in Lakewood and uh, the dog and I went for a walk and it was a beautiful day. It was like such a gorgeous day. The sun was out. It was like the Metro Parks were like, just like it was when I was a kid. Like it was like this magical, glorious, beautiful place. And uh, I was walking my dog and I definitely thought at the time, like I am definitely, like who is zooming who here? Like is the dog walking me or am I walking the dog? Like what's the leading force right now? Um, I thought the dog's walking me. So I just kind of like went wherever he went. Uh, I let him make all the decisions and kind of like let him drag me around. Um, and it kept my mind off of things. It kept, me, it kept me thinking about how beautiful the day was and watching him discover whatever his dog road was discovering. Um, and so this is a painting that started out with me just kind of playing with textures and wanting to like remembering to use my mom's paints and it was getting to the end of like maybe I should start wrapping up like whatever the show is going to be whatever paintings I'm going to use in the show uh, and this is about a, I don't know about a, three weeks ago and I finished this painting and I saw the dog and, and, and the boy and the guy um, and I was like oh my god that's me and my dog and uh, I just finished the painting, like right then. Uh, I just kind of wrapped it up, did a couple little things uh, to tidy it up, and was just like, ah, the show's done. Like, I, when I start painting things that are so meaningful to me, um, just through the process of doing it, right? Like, I know I've hit a point where I'm doing it right. Um, a lot of times my paintings have meaning because I'm hearing and thinking about stuff as I'm doing it. Um, but I don't think I've ever had a painting so crystallized into a meaning as the last move 
right? Like, like it snapped and it was like, oh, that's the painting of my mom, the day my mom died. Um, and it's beautiful. Uh, as far as, to me, it's a bright crisp painting that has sparkle in it next to a giant window. And it feels like the valley did that day. It feels like the Metro Parks did that day. It's a, it's a definite like appreciation of the beauty of nature and the way the color works and the way that uh, sometimes you can have the animal leading you uh, and just be along for the ride on it. Yeah, so that's uh, who is zooming in.